Nichols, who's tracking Matthew, Tom. And uh, do we have the 5 o'clock track yet? We do indeed, Ginger. Take a look at what's going on. It's not great news for everyone that wants this thing to go to the east. I'm afraid it's moving a little closer to the west. Come to me now. Take a look at this big hurricane, the eye making landfall this morning around Port au Prince. Here's the 5 o'clock update. Wind speed still 140. Pressure okay. But here's the part that you want to see that you really don't want to see. This track has jogged a little bit farther to the east during the 11 o'clock update today. It didn't take in as much of the state. Tonight they've moved it a little farther back, just a little closer. The impacts are going to be about the same as we've been talking about all day long today. Possible hurricane winds along our coast. Tropical storm force winds across the interior. How close is that? It's that close. I mean, it's that close. It's about 60 or 70 miles off the coast side, not far enough for an easy breath, and it could come as far inland as Ocala, based on this path to projected movement. Errors for day three and day four a little wider, but now we're getting down to day two. And so day two, I think it'll be here. Day three to be appears a category three hurricane off the coast of Daytona Beach by Friday morning at 8 a.m. Watches and warnings that we have right now, still a hurricane watch for Bavard County, I think within the next couple of hours. All of that will be updated. Radar tonight, we're tracking scattered showers into the early evening. Light rain around Mascot now beginning to calm down from Groveland up to the north. You watch this roll for the last hour here of radar echoes together, and things have cleared up nicely. So for the next few hours, I think the rain will begin to diminish.